Good morning, everybody. Joey K back in the mix. Today we are at Site Access Electric Vehicles in Pretoria, and we are going to check out the Access T90 EV fully electric bucking pickup. Let's go. Fully electric parking, fully electric pickup. So let's turn it on. So it's got an old fashioned key. I have to tap on the brake. It's on. When you're driving buckets, you're used to, to hearing the loud noise from a diesel. But now it's on and it's so quiet, it's beautiful. Uh, this demo model has only done 8,000 kilometers. Nice screen here. Is this a charge pad? No, it's not. Not, okay, but it's got a USB charger. Yeah. So there's your selector. We're in neutral, we've got drive and reverse here. It's got two power modes, power and eco. Is it third mode? Just two. Just two. And this supports um, off-road traction? Traction control. Traction control. Climb assist. And climb assist, okay. Cool. So let's take it for a spin. Is there, oh, there's a camera there, nice. Is it nervous? It is. It's quite responsive. It's actually quite a big pickup. It's bigger than I thought it was. So what's the payload on this one? It's, uh, I think it's just under, just under 750 with an unbrake trailer. Okay. Yeah. We're now in Menden on Hasfontein Drive. Uh, we're just going to take a short off ramp onto the highway, the N1, the N1 South towards Johannesburg. Uh, right now the battery is on 50% and it's showing that the remaining range is 170 kilometers. So on full charge, uh, talking to the guys at Maxis, they're saying they're seeing about 350 real range on highway driving, which is pretty cool uh, for a car of this size. It's got a CATL battery. How many kilowatt hours is the battery? 88. 88 kilowatt hours. It's quite a high driving position, but it's pretty cool. Like a normal standard parking pickup. Africa is the headquarters of pickups, Bucky's, Bucky Central. So I just floored that, or not exactly floored, but I just stepped on the accelerator. It's quite responsive for a truck of this size. Definitely more responsive than a diesel. I usually drive an Isuzu D-Max double cab diesel, similar class vehicle. But that one was four-wheel drive. This one is two-wheel drive, right? With the rear-mounted uh, motor. 